peace and grand rising to the sovereign original indigenous natural divine heirs today is february 26 1442 on the ancient moon calendar 1443 on the ancient sun calendar and 2023 on the greco-roman calendar all rise and stand and remain standing into perpetuity article three Moorish American Al Moroccan Court Action. We are the Sovereign Living Justices, and I am Sovereign Living Justice Pauline Denise Ritchie. My free chosen sovereign appellation is Light to Jiri Bay. All are in capitis diminution nolo, in red ink, in propria persona suturis, in proprio solo, and in proprio heredes. All Moors are uh, the original indigenous, sovereign, ancient, Al Moroccan, Moorish American ascendants of the great pharaohs of Kemet and of the ancient Moabites and Canaanites. Our full faith and trust, our allegiance, our credit, and our energy are hereby vested in ourselves, for we are the people who are the original indigenous, natural, divine, sovereign, ancient empire state from Morocco. We are the de jure Moorish National Republic federal government. We are ancient Washington District 4, Columbia. We are the Universal Moorish American Consulate and the Article 3 Moorish American Consular Court. Today, we are executing and exercising the law by our sovereign status, which is the original indigenous, natural divine, sovereign ancient Article 3, living United States District 4, Columbia Court. And we are the sovereign fiduciaries, creditors, executors, trustees, ministers, possessors, and titled beneficiaries in this cause for action. We are peace. We are one nation, one state, one empire, and one God. We hereby recognize ourselves. Yes, we do. And accept our sovereign ascension. We issue a universal creditor's bill for possession and custody over all land, all natural resources, all commerce, and all other property. We, the one true God nation, exercise all eternal, ancient, original, indigenous rights at this time and at all points in time, nunk We are home indeed. <clears throat> so uh, we want to talk today about governing our cities by Article 3, uh, universal court action. Okay, and before we uh, continue in that vein, because we're going to give you the formula for your demonstrations, and this formula for for demonstrating whatever it is that you're demonstrating, no matter what it is, this formula is um, the formula that through all of our through all of the things that the demonstrations that have been done, we've heard the Moors uh, talking about the demonstrations, uh, et cetera, and seeing uh, what works. We, whenever Moors say we had a demonstration that worked, we say, what did you do? And then they tell us what they did. And we have found a common thread in every one of the demonstrations that worked. Okay? So, we have been here on this land since time immemorial, competently governing and ministering our own vast estate. What we're doing is nothing new. It's nothing new. As much as I would love to say that this is, you know, um, unique and, and all of that, our ancestors have been doing this for forever. They never stopped governing. And so they have given all of us the ability to continue to govern as well. Um, we are the solution creators for the entire earth. We are the source for all resources, which is why we are naturally resourceful. Okay, The natural resources in heaven and on earth are naturally, constantly, and actively attracted to the natural resources that are coursing through our bodies, which is why the heavens and the earth respond to us and our activity. We are living minerals. We are living natural resources, living gold. We are living, breathing platinum, titanium, 
iron ore, copper, uh, water, fire, air, earth. We, we are the living, breathing uh, source for all of the other, and all of the other responds to what the living, they're a living original creator does and says. Our ingenuity and ability to create far surpass all others. We are building our nation and our government by way of we, the people. We are the people, and we have chosen to blaze the trail for greatness for our heirs and for our kin to awaken and for the entire earth. And when we say blaze the trail, all we're doing is moving the bushes back and clearing off the trail that our ancestors already had. They had already done. Okay. And so that is the future that we are living today is us just clearing off. Oh, this is what our ancestors used. Let's use that. Clear that off. Let's, let's activate that again. Let's use this again. You know, we're doing that all over the land. As we continue rising, it is necessary for all others to understand that we who are ancient Morocco, the states united for ancient America, do reign. We thrive. We continue to grow. We are prospering. The beauty of our reign is that we overstand and understand our status. Those around us are beginning to understand our status. And that's what we were talking about before the recording started with the demonstration that the nobility did. Those around us, they get it. We're awake, they get it. Okay? And the rest of the earth and the world are showing that they understand us as well. Our subjects understand us as well. And as all of this understanding by others is manifesting now, that now makes them a part of the solution. We're the solution and they are part and parcel for that solution because they understand the Moors. They see now that we're awake. So we're home, therefore all shall understand and know that we rule the earth by way of our word emanating from our own universal Article Three courts. Just one moment. Let me, just a moment. Okay. Okay, so we've activated many strategies all at once in, uh, as we accomplish and enjoy this great grand rising. We've activated a whole bunch of things all at one time. And so one such strategy is the balance of our divinity, which is above all structures, all governments, all creation, and all existence, etc., with our earthly manifestation. So what have we done? We've joined our divinity with our earthly manifestation. And they were joined all along. We're just learning how to balance them. And not learning because we, we already know how to balance them. We're just remembering that. Our earthly manifestation gets involved and engages with life with our government, with our kin, with our friends, with our domiciles, our structures, our arts, our sports, our sciences, and all else that we choose without compromising our divinity. We get involved with the primary goal of expanding our ancient sovereign empire. So when I say we get involved, we are getting involved with each other because there's so many things that we can do together. We get involved by always being our peaceful, competent, wise selves, speaking our language,
casting and breaking spells throughout the day, regardless of who we come in contact with. We manifest our wealth, our inheritance, our estate, our nationality, while presenting, preserving, and expanding our divine manifestation. Our divinity does exist above all that is created, legislated, or made. So divinity cannot be legislated. Divinity cannot be uh, uh, told what to do by any, any of creation because divinity is above all of that. On, by the same token, by the same token, this manifestation is directly connected with our divinity. And in this manifestation, we, we do things in, in this dimension. We are comfortable with who we are. We're casting spells today and breaking spells. We are completely comfortable with who we are. We're comfortable with who we are. We know who we are. Okay, those who are not yet comfortable with who we are, and I'm talking about out there, those out there, you know, on the land, who are not comfortable with who we are, they bear the responsibility for their own comfort. Okay, it's not our job to make everyone comfortable with us. We're not at war with anyone. We're moving forward in doing all that we do. That will not stop. It won't change. We're going to continue to move forward. Okay. So they bear the responsibility to, to you know, whatever discomfort that they're feeling with Moors and, and the Moors, our nation, our government, our empire. Then over time, you know, we send them positive energy so that they will become more comfortable because we're not going anywhere. We're here to stay. We... Uh, the, uh, we are emerging from our initial erudition sequestration and we remain divine and set apart so that we can physically unify in preparation for those who are soon to awaken. So we have been in that initial erudition sequestration. In other words, we've been set apart and many more have, have stated in the past that you know, they feel like they're the only ones in their territory demonstrating and things like that. Well, you know, we all felt that way. I know I did for the first few years. Okay, I've been awake since 2017, and it wasn't until years, maybe th three or two or three years later that I started meeting up with other Moors and things like that. The ancestors had us in the study 100% all the time day and night, day and night, day and night, we studied. And then demonstrated. We studied, we had to demonstrate. We didn't, that, that wasn't a, an option. We came, that's what we came here to do. And the situation, we called for some tests and we demonstrated. We were sent to clear the path for us and for those who, uh, for those uh, who are coming after us. And so, what we're doing also for, for, for us and for them and for everyone is we are demonstrating so that the abundant provision that is necessary, not necessary, it's necessary for the situation, not for us, but for the situation, to continue to know who we are and to create wealth for our entire nation beyond perpetuity. We have much to celebrate as this will be the very first generation in many years where who will emerge from the womb knowing who they are. We will have processes, we have processes in place already to properly claim the babies when they come from the womb. And that came from this body. We have those processes in place. What is it? We create a birth certificate and a birth affidavit, a living birth affidavit. So that's two that go together and their nationality is proclaimed properly on those documents. They will have processes in place to learn so that they can demonstrate who they are with clarity and confidence. That's what this is all about. On the matter of our subjects, in order for proper reprogramming, training, and education of those on our land to continue to be a great success, because we just heard 
on the meeting before the, the recording started that they are in alignment, that the subjects are doing as commanded. In order for that to continue, the psychological operation strategy of repetition is the key. We should always demonstrate our, we shall always demonstrate our status at all times. This strategy is called living record technique. So those who studied psychology in the last era, they had a technique that they used on, on everyone called broken record technique. Well, for us, it's living record technique, okay? See, if a record is broken, and this is why they called it that, the psychologists in the past who studied the Moors called it broken record technique because the record, the recording, the writing, whether it be internally, because, you know, there's writing on our heart. The writing, there was a break in who was doing the writing. So they injected something in, some programming into the broken record. Okay. And they called it, and they, did, they had to do that repeatedly in order to get any results. And so what we're doing now is the same thing, except it's called living record technique. And with living record technique, we are the living records that our ancestors speak through. That is how our ancestors accomplish the things that, they, that they've seen since time immemorial into perpetuity. We are the voice of and for our ancestors. We are our ancestors returned. In the last era, the technique that is a mirror, it's a, it, you know, we talk about the funny mirror. Broken record technique was the funny mirror. They just kept repeating things over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Everybody had a TV so they could repeat things over and over and just, just keep repeating it. And what, it didn't matter whether that it wasn't true. People would believe it because they heard it so often. Well, now we do living record technique where we just, it's like a recording almost, where we, we're, we're, we're stating who we are. Our, our nationality is what it is. It's going to keep coming out of our mouth every, all throughout the day. In order to know the full extent of the effectiveness of our living record technique, the broken record technique can be studied. So that's something you can Google, broken record technique. And all types of psychological studies and, you know, uh, case studies and experiments will, will present um, so that you can study the effectiveness of living record technique. So we just keep repeating no matter where we go, no matter what we do. And we know that that works because when we did our POW demonstrations for 10 days straight, we repeated court action language all day, all night, every day for 10 days straight, and it worked. So the root word for the word record is cord, cord or cord. So cord, C-O-R-D, and cord, C-H-O-R-D. A C-O-R-D, cord, a cord is a connection interwoven into herself, thereby creating an unbreakable bond, such as an ONA strand. ONA strand is uh, the superior to a DNA strand. Animals have DNA. We have ONA. ONA is oxyribonucleic acid. Okay. Additionally, a cord, C-H-O-R-D, is a series of keys on an instrument that, when united, make a harmonious, luxurious, captivating sound that only those exact keys together can make. So you, those chords, they're, they're, they're unique. Just one moment. Let me open up the meat. So 
Yes, we are home. We're here to stay, and for this, we are grateful. So now, uh, we want to get into the process of governing our cities. Uh, we want to put forth some more ways to do that. Uh, this way that we're presenting today will be the foundational way whereby cities are governed, okay? I want to open so that we can uh, discuss uh, either the technique, which is just repetition. That is what living record technique is, is if you go somewhere and you do a demonstration, and the demonstrate and someone is is off is 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 putting up a little bit of resistance. Just repeat yourself. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. And if you have to go and come back, still court action and repeat. Okay. And then make sure that uh, we just make sure that as we go along, we have these things in place that we're going to show uh, with regard to um, and um. When I tried to um, get it set up on the TV, it said to reset your mode. Okay. Uh, I think uh, just one moment. Empress uh, Empress Shatali, are you are you? Did you have something you wanted to state? I apologize. No, I was just huh? trying to That's make okay. sure I understood it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so we want to have the the following uh, fourteen things in alignment, uh, I said 13, but it's actually 14, I believe. 14 Article Three court actions in place prior to doing a demonstration, any demonstration, no matter what the demonstration is, we, but, but particularly with the cities, okay? The city situation is just something, it's, it's something, I'm telling you it's something. The cities, uh, our cities, are, are wide open for us to do whatever it is that, 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 is, that the, the city necessitates. So status must always be first, okay? Now, there are some people who don't think that nationality is important. Then how can you have a move into reality, the building on First Avenue, Pauline, is the, if it's the wide open? Is most important. In reality, nationality is most important. Why is it most important? The word nation is everywhere. And any time you look at the law, you're going to see nation or state in the laws everywhere. Or city, you're going to see it in, in the laws everywhere. And so that means that there are people who have unified and come together in order to demonstrate that they are the city, the state, the nation, you know, the empire. And that unity is going to be the key to the demonstration, to, to anything that we do. So uh, just one moment. Let me see. Just a moment. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay. Um, so now, nationality, name change in judicial proclamation, termination of all U.S. corporation company debtor contracts. This is important so that you're not connected to to debtors. Uh, um, the same debtor. Well, that you your, haven't that done that either. You have a mortgage and, on your house, um, Pauline. You have a mortgage on your house. PHH Mortgage is your mortgage. Just a moment. Everyone has seen my demonstration, so we don't have to defend any anything. Uh, so here we go. Termination of all U.S. corporation company debtor contracts. Yes. That's that's number two on the list. Morris National Republic Federal Government because Trust you can't defend it, Polly. You're a fucking liar. Just one moment. 
More Islam. is National Republic Islam nobility. Are we supposed to see the screen um, uh, of some kind? Because we yeah. can't see it. Okay, hold on for just a moment. Thank you. Islam, now we see it. Gratitude. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, so nationality, first and foremost. Termination of all corporate contracts, secondly. The connection between the debtor, the debt and the moors has to be made because of when we're leaning others, we have to prove that we're not a part of the debt, of the debtor. You can't lean and claim to be the creditor with debt contracts. Okay? So this is all done by Moorish government documentation. Okay? Uh, the Universal Commercial Code One Lien Affidavit. That's uh, and I'm sorry, uh, Moorish National Republic Federal Government Trust Proclamation. That was next. Then the Universal Commercial Code One Lien Affidavit. The lien on the nom de guerre. A nom de guerre has a mortgage with a social security number. A United States Corporation Company, the dead one. Social security. That's debt. Okay. Uh, I'm, we're proving now, again, yet again, that um, we don't use fiat at all. And there's something that we need to talk about here today as well with regard to that, because it's coming. It's, it's, it's just about time for this, this piece to happen. Uh, but, but let's go through, through this list really quickly, and then we'll, we'll, we'll present what is coming up and, and, and what we think about it. Uh, Universal Commercial Code, one lien affidavit on the United States Corporation Company and other corporate parties involved. So, for example, this domicile, we had to put a lien on PHP, quote unquote PHP mortgage. We had to put a lien on them. We had to put a lien on, and then, and now we're in the process of levying. And then we had to, of course, do all of this, proclaim, sovereign status, and all of that. We're in for a very soft landing. And when I say a soft landing, I mean that uh, as we go through these processes and we do these things and agree that this is what we should be doing, which, which we've already agreed to that, that we're going to be doing liens and declaring our nationality and all of the above. Then uh, as we move forward in, in the, these other steps, it's going to be a very, very soft landing. A soft landing is kind of like what the brother was talking about before the recording started, where uh, when policy enforcers were called, they, act, they acted like police instead of acting like bandits. That's a soft landing. When people do as they're supposed to do, the subjects do what they're supposed to do on the land. That's a soft landing. When you notify uh, a quote unquote mortgage company that of your status as the CEO of the mortgage company, that's a soft landing. Okay? And, and your domicile is not violated. That's a soft landing because you have the title to it. The title is on the public record. You have, um, you've done an exchange, a sovereign exchange on the public record all of the above, okay? Morse National Republic Federal Government fiduciary affidavit and a corporate affidavit. The corporate affidavit would be the, uh, the documents that we have done previously where we took the letterhead and we said we're the fiduciary of this company, PHP mortgage or whatever it is. We're the CEOs and the fiduciaries of this company, and whoever was in that office is removed because the national 
PHP Mortgage Company is here. Now, this is the thing about, about, about any bills, mortgages, tickets, anything, and we stated this in the past, but we want to make it clear that when the national government be, put, gets in place, which we're in place, then we use whatever the national currency or money system is to speak to the corporate piece because we're, we're actually the CEOs already as well from a national perspective, okay? So, um, Morris, uh, the Bureau for Fiscal Service Fiduciary Corporate Affidavit with Direct Deposit Information and Certified Return Receipt from the original uh, Fiscal Fiduciary Notification, okay? And this one is just, uh, we show the Bureau for Fiscal Services fiduciary document, how we restated it, and um, we put in the notes some, some information, and you can go back and look at that video, uh, and then we sent that out, and then we showed you in the previous video, uh, the sun is really bright, where, uh, where we um, uploaded that fiduciary, the, fiscal, the Bureau for Fiscal Services document that we restated, we uploaded it to the bank account, okay? Um, and then, so, so, so even on our, in our Congressional Assembly, we have proof that that document was uploaded into USAA Bank, which is really us too still. But we showed you how we did that. So we have a return receipt for that, and then we mail, mail off a copy because there needs to be hard copies on all records. Uh, number eight, accepted for value affidavit with indemnis facier bond insurance. Uh, number nine, a map and charter affidavit. So if you're doing things in the city, you need to, they, uh, the subjects need to know that they're on the land and that there is a charter for that vessel. A city is a vessel, okay? A state is a vessel. An empire is a vessel. And we govern those vessels. That's, that's what all of this is about. Earth is a vessel, believe it or not. Earth is also a vault, okay? Uh, and we'll talk more about how the more sovereign delarium is the receipt for the gold that's in the vault, and the vault is, is in, in the earth. Uh, we, and we all have proof of that. All we have to do is look at archaeological digs and, you know, the, the makeup of the earth and all of that. The gold is there. Uh, number 10, removal from office by fiduciary affidavit uh, in, in, on our city corporate letterhead. So, for example, I'm at Federal Way. I'm not at the city of Federal Way. I'm at Federal Way because I am Federal Way. And so we did a removal of anyone claiming to be Federal Way, okay? Any other documents as per the will of the government, the gods, the people, okay? And then an Article Three levy on the county, city, state, federal, and that levy gets sent to the internal revenue service on the land, which is still us, and whenever and the, the difference between a, a fraudulent internal uh, IRS quote unquote corporation and the internal revenue service is that, for example, uh, if the revenue service is in Ogden, Utah, just one moment, let me see where I'm typing it. <laughs> Um, just one moment. Okay, I'm going to block that. Just a moment. Let me, let me block the sunlight for just a moment. Okay. So um, if it's at Ogden, Utah, we would... Our, our internal revenue service is at Ogden, comma, Utah. It's not, there's no such thing as Ogden. That's not a state. 
that's a tr that that was a previous trust from the last era. That trust is disbanded. Okay, so this is this is not where we send send our we send it to Ogden, Utah. Uh, number 13 is going to be a 1099 acquisition affidavit, okay, uh, a 1096 and then a 1099 OID, and it, it depends on, again, do the study on which one of those you're going to be using, or if you're going to be using all of them, then do it. Um, and because whoever we're doing the exchange with has to pay taxes on the payment. Okay, and then number 14, internal revenue ministry authorizes the Bureau for Fiscal Service to issue the check or tender the payment instrument. So the Bureau for Fiscal Services is uh, the ones who, 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 who actually cut the check and send it uh, by word of the internal revenue ministry. Okay. So... Um, just one moment. So these are the steps where city is concerned, governing our cities. Okay. Just one moment. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, the sun is so bright over here. My goodness, it is bright. Uh, okay. I guess we just have to deal with it. Uh, okay. So, are there any, uh, okay, good. Are there any questions or comments or uh, wisdom with regard to these steps? Is all. Uh... Islam. Um, a few of the affidavits I don't ha I don't think I have. Uh, okay. So, which uh, then you have to you have to you have to get them. Yeah, like the uh, Libby affidavit. I don't have that one. I know for sure. Yeah, we, we did a, a, a congressional assembly for that levy process, uh, and the word I believe the word levy will be in the title of that congressional assembly video. Indeed. Islam. Um, and so whenever we do anything like a levy or anything, we do the levy by government affidavit first, and then we do our levy form, and we send them both together. Okay. Um, in fact, what we'll do is pull up a levy really quickly. L-E-V. Just a moment, let me see. Okay, here's one. So, uh, let's see, can you see the levy on the screen? Islam, Islam, yes we can. Okay. Great, thank you. Uh, so this is this is a, a levy, okay, and 
what we did was we did the levy. Oops. Just a moment. We, we restated the levy process. And then what we did was we, we have a levy affidavit on Morris government letterhead. It starts with the, with the court action language. You know, so again, there's a formula for everything that we do. And that formula is going to be the same. For every affidavit that you have, when you're doing city business, you always have a, uh, a, a city document to go with it with your affidavit, a corporate city document. So this is uh, the Internal Rev uh, Revenue Ministry, okay? And again, this ministry is on the land here at Washington, not at WA, because WA is not a state. And then we're, we're speaking to, uh, we're, the debtor is City of Federal Way, here with this uh, with this zip code here, okay, and we could have even put W A there because again, it, it wasn't on the land to begin with. Federal Way is the land, not City of Federal Way. And uh, and then, uh, what's the difference between a lien and a levy? A lien is a claim on whatever it is. Okay, so when we, uh, when we do liens, all we're saying is we have a right to that. That's ours. It belongs to us. It's a statement of ownership. That's what a lien is. It's a statement of, of some people say statement of interest. For us, it's a statement of ownership. It's a statement of uh, that, that that is ours, okay, but that uh, in order for us to finish the lien process and go and move to possession, we levy. A levy is possession. And with a levy comes a lodial title to the land, uh, depending on where it is or what it is, or a lodial title to the conveyance, you know. Uh, a market value exchange. And again, when we do a market value exchange, all we're doing, all we're saying is we're putting the market value of this on the record and offsetting that levy. Okay. So, um, a levy is seizure of whatever it is. And we had done several court actions and things like that. And uh, we, as of, as of this past Thursday, we have notification in the way that the ancestors notify us that, our, that we have seized everything that we stated we were going to seize, okay? But that's the spirit realm situation first. And secondly, it's already manifested here in the flesh because we're here. So... Um, Whatever language you want to use on your levies, um, I put this language here, but this language can be edited. It can be, you know, uh, however, however you choose to, to, you know, whatever your research on levies uh, gives you with regard to the language, you can, you can do it that way. Just know that the city won't go anywhere. It's here. We are the city. So all we have to do from that point is, again, begin watching and governing and preparing to take the next steps, okay? What we are preparing to do now is to uh, access the structures and produce. Produce, produce, produce. Uh, much of what we are doing, for example, uh, in order for production to, to even take place, we have to nationalize or naturalize the train, uh, the railroads, the transportation for, for all of the things that we're doing because we're going to be, uh, and we've stated this in the past, we have our sea salt production that has begun. 
okay? Uh, our sea salt company, this is a national company, okay? It is backed by our government. So uh, our sea salt that we have and that we're putting forth on the public record, um, that's just one of, the, one of the companies that our government is, is supporting. And in reality, our government supports all companies, all companies. So uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, uh, picking up on production of our salt, our, of our sea salt, and, and moving forward that way. Um, and we'll tell you some more about that in, in the coming days and weeks. Um, are there any questions or comments regarding any of that? Anything that we've discussed uh, so far? Uh, let's see. Uh, any questions, comments, wisdom? Here's one. Uh-huh. Um, so number 14, um, the Internal Revenue Ministry authorizes the Bureau for Fiscal Services to issue the check to tender the payment instrument. And you have stated that um, you have um, uploaded that to um, our USAA um, institution. And so... Um, is that the only option? We can do it via mail, correct? Yes. Uh, it has to be done it, it it has to be done via mail anyway. Yeah. Okay. Our copies, physical copies of everything that we do have to go out because that's proper notification. All right. So the um uploading it is just, you know, an option. But it's not a requirement, right? That's what I'm asking essentially. Uh however you choose to do it. Okay. Yeah. So, um, with regard now, uh, a little earlier, I mentioned that we were going to uh, discuss uh, something that's coming up with regard to the banking situation that we we really need to to, to discuss it. Um, Let me see if I put that on here or not. I don't think I did. I did not. Okay. Um, what's about to happen, this is what's about to happen, depending on us really and what we choose and what we decide. Um, there is going to be a bank bail-in, a bank bail-in. A bank bail-in is when the creditors, it's when a bank has failed, and really a banking system, when a banking system has failed, uh, there's just a, some noise coming from somewhere. Just a moment, let me see. Um, there is a something called a bank bail-in, and with a bank bail-in, uh, our 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 grand sheik has been talking about the bank bail in. Many others have been talking about the bank bail in on on the public record. Uh, a bank bail in is when a bank has failed and the creditors to that bank take a loss on the debt. In other words, they say, okay, you know what? No one has to pay that debt back. Let's start over. The creditors, we're the creditors, we'll take the loss. Uh, that's what a bank bail-in is. A bank bail-out is when 
the creditors say, no, we're not going to take a loss. Uh, somebody has to pay that debt. Okay. So as the creditors, this has come up now on the public record. Okay. It has come up that something needs to happen. It needs to either be a bank bail out or a bank bail in. And since we're the creditors, we, uh, we get to say what happens, okay? Now, the decision You're that so we You're so fucking make, full of shit, regard, Polly. The decision that we make with regard to uh, being the creditors, is going to determine a lot, actually. It's going to determine a lot. It's going to determine uh, how we move forward. It's going to determine what the new financial system is going to look is going to look like because it's already set up. We set it up a, a, a years ago, starting in 2018, but really from ancient times. All we did was uncover what our ancestors did. Why don't you do a demonstration on your internet service provider, Pauline? Uh, so what we're doing, and see, they, they already know this is coming. That's why they keep, <laughs> they know it's coming. That's what all of that's about. They want to get us focused on one or two small things instead of the big picture, the big overall deal. And that's not what we're going to do. We're going to we're going to stay focused. So nothing works, in, Paul. In, uh, you haven't taken over First Avenue. You never will. Just a moment, because this is not about me. This is about every one of us. Every one of us, all together. We're going to keep it on all of us. Let's keep it on all of us because. All that stuff that they're talking about is going to take care of itself the minute we make this decision. So uh, I want to pull up on the screen the bail-in piece, just the definition of bail-in. And we know that bailing in, uh, let's just pull up bail in definition. We know that bail, the word bail is a, is a water word. Okay. Uh, Investopedia says a bail in provides relief to a financial institution on the brink of failure by requiring the cancellation of debt owed to creditors and depositors. Now, when a bail-in is done, though, a bail-in is when, when they take all that's in there, all the debt out of the bank. Because as you all know, we've been dealing, uh, well, in, a, in the past era, the past era was a debt era. Okay. So... We, we can write off the debt that's owed. It is financial relief. Um, it's a rescue strategy here. It says it's a rescue strategy offered to a financial institution that's on the verge of collapse. This relief entails that creditors, depositors, or bondholders of the company or financial institution bear part of the company's burden. A bail-in differs from a bail-out. A bail-out actually is, is, is the opposite of a bail-in. But it's, it's, it's going to happen one way or the other. We get to say what that way is. Okay? Uh, And the reason we are Islam. 
Um, I was just thinking, is there a, a negative side to a bailout? Yeah, is the there... negative side to a bailout is that is that number one, debt keeps circulating. That's number one. And we don't want debt to keep circulating. That's the, that's the negative side to a bailout, is that number one, debt keeps circulating, and number two, the people keep having to bear the brunt of that circulating debt. Okay, and we just, we just do not want that. We don't, uh, I don't know about you all, but I'm tired of debt flying around everywhere. We're the ones who said that debt, debt needs to be off the land, so, you know, I don't know, I don't know about you all, but and then the people don't need to uh, the people don't need to keep dealing with that you know so that's the that's the negative to a bailout a bailout means that the debt stays on the record and they shuffle things around and try and put that debt on to everybody who's who's doing financial things that would mean that you know, this thing that you're seeing where they're enacting, raising interest rates and all of that kind of stuff, you know, and people are, are barely able to make it. That's just not what our land is all about. That's not what our land is all about. But that system is done. It's finished. Also, um, as you as I, it's right on the screen, it says April 18, 2022, a bail-in is a relief or a resource strategy offered to a financial institution that is on a verge of collapse. Um, mm -hmm. So, well, overstanding what we've done with the liquidation, you know, all of that, bankruptcy and all that, um, mm -hmm. it, it, it already has collapsed because it it was, yep. you know, essentially set up to collapse yep. because it didn't have any um, true merit of resource for it to be stabilized. So therefore, yep. um, so the only logical thing to do is a bail-in, um, and then in a bail-in, I can, you know, see the chessboard essentially, and you know, you're just taking <laughs> your <laughs> and. It is chess, and I'm, I'm just hoping that everyone can see the move. It's like, yes, that's part. And you, you're putting your piece in, and um, everybody has relief as it is, and because it is the way of what is guarding yeah. um, our nation and yeah. how we as the matriarchs um, provide, you know, um, erudition relief, you know, the true resources that the earth, mother earth, mother nature, universe, you know, and so on gives to the people. Um, and so without um, delay, I already put my, my, my vote in and say yay for the bail in, though we haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> <It's long. laughs> oh, that is exactly where we're going. <laughs> Islam. 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 Islam like just second the motion. Islam. Islam. Let me know when you're ready for me to recite the poem, please. Okay. Islam. Islam. Uh, let us deal with this uh, bailout, bail-in situation. Um, we're the. This is the thing about a whole bailout or bail-in, is we are. We're the banks. We're the creditors, we're the depositors, we're the bondholders because we create bonds. Uh, and our bond is to the land. So we can't, that's why we're the creditors. Okay. Now, let me put the chess move on the table. Because some don't, some might feel like, well, we want everybody to pay. They owe taxes to the Moors. Well, don't, don't worry about that yet. Let's, 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 because that's going, that's, that's done already, really. The chess move on this bail-in situation. Uh, just one moment. There's a little bit of noise coming from somewhere. 
the bail-in situation is this. The chess move is this. When we choose to remove all that debt, all of it, and we say, you know what, we're the creditors, we hereby say you all are free. You don't owe us any debt because that's the thing that the, the citizens have been worried about, the subjects have been worried about. They're saying they won't be able to pay it off even for, you know, generations. Well, we know that you have debts that you can't pay, okay? And we are not, we're not, uh, we don't want the fiat anyway. That's number one. But the chess move is that when we remove all that debt, all we're doing is we're just going to, we have already done it really, put our financial system, and all we have to do is use, we can use documents to do whatever we want to do financially. We've been, we've been, we've been putting that on the public record already. It's already a done deal. We, we, we did everything first, and now we're saying, okay, now we're ready for the debt system to be out of the way. And we've, we've already put the creditor system in place. So that's the chess move, is that our system, the credit system is there, creditor system is there. And however we choose to do that, we can do it. And then those subjects, and I know some are saying, well, what's going to happen with the subjects? The subjects can do those things that um, that they were practicing as pretending to be, quote, unquote, sovereign citizens. Uh, they have some processes that they can do in order to uh, maneuver and move around and do things. Okay. So, um let me see if I can move this uh, over a little bit. So um, that's what we want to do is put our put our system in place. It's already in place. We're using it already. We've been using it since we introduced Delarium, and more started sending Delarium electronically to us. By the way, we've received. So many, we've received so much money from the Moors that it's just unbelievable. Uh, electronically, the Moors have sent, and even by mail, Moors have been sending Delarium to us. And for that, we are so grateful. We want to thank everyone who, who every month they send a donation of at least 300 Delarium every month. Like clockwork, they've been sending it. That's how you know who, you know, that's some faithfulness there, you know, just to assist in, in this work, you know. Uh, so, and I'm not saying that people who didn't send it are not faithful. Let me put that out there too, because uh, uh, that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be the case. That's not the case. So, more you're the creditors. Whatever we state on the public record today is going to happen. Now, here's the, here's the part of the bail-in that is, is going to be a problem for some. A bail-in means that all of the bank accounts are probably going to be cleared out but you won't owe anything. And then anything that you want to get, you just use your documentation to get it. Some people call that a cashless society. That's what they call it. But it's not, it's not, we're not a society, we're a nation. Government, state, the whole nine, empire. Uh, 
uh, I was speaking with one of the empresses just yesterday, and she saying she said that that, that uh, at her territory the banks are closing down and closing down and closing down. I said, yeah. So when you've been seeing on these other lands where people have been showing up at the bank and, you know, they're having crowds out there and the crowds are banging on the door. Oh, we're having our money. We want our money. <laughs> it wasn't money in the first place. That means that the people, the original indigenous people there said bail in, but somebody needs to be notified that a bail in is happening so that people won't go running down to the bank trying to tear up the building. You are a fucking Again, delusional so idiot, Polly. None of this shit is real. Um, it's all it's fucking... All fucking... <laughs> they spend a whole lot of time talking about that. Well, for something... for the, if, if that was... Anyway. So, we know it is because they keep showing up every, day, every time we have a, a congressional assembly. But anyway, so... Are there any comments or questions regarding a bail-in? Uh, we can always take um, a few days to study the process of a bail-in and then come back and make our decision next time. We can make our decision on, on Thursday if you want to do it that way. There's no rush. It's up to you all, Morris, but we just need to hear from you how you want to do it. Would you rather vote on it today? Um, there was a noble speaking and an empress speaking. Empress, please. Go ahead. Oh, um, yes. I just wanted to state that um, so when the bail-in happens, that means all inflation and all of the astronomical, you know, as we've been seeing the corporate prices of things, you know, going high and how you would need a wheelbarrow of whatever money that they was given out to go buy even a loaf of bread. So, in essence, um, it would be putting back of um, the earth as um, Thanos from that movie, um, the uh, Marvels, when mm -hmm. he put back the whole earth, as it were, because that was his purpose, to restore order and, you know, the guys of stones and such. Um, so, yeah, the, the bail-in is, is what I feel and see and know, essentially, is what is required because... Um, you got fire going on in the background, Empress. That is true. <laughs> um, and so, yes, because the it's essentially what is required to to stop and start. You yeah. know, because um, I'll never forget when um, uh, the Empress um, I forget her appellation, but she was on Doctor G, and she was stating how. You know, a restart is not what you want, essentially, because when you restart, all you're doing is stopping and starting what you started previously that you ended. So a stop and a stop completion and then to have in a whole new is what is what's, 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 what's required, essentially, to get out the old and get rid of it all and leave no remnants behind and to clean everything remove all the cobwebs. So when I hear bail in versus bail out, bail in is like you're putting and you're just clean clearing it out. Mm -hmm. And you like you said, you're removing all the debt and the debt would be, you know, people and or persons, you know, so called money which was really debt anyway. Yeah. And um essentially bringing back the order that um the barter system, you know, because that's the highest form of currency, which I know that it is. And um, because then people would have to, you know, figure out life and know that, okay, I have this. What do you have for value for value? 
And that's what we've that's been what, talking about also. Well, that would also be the, that would be the same thing that we just talked about. Uh, mm-hmm. This is this is real substance. This is natural sea salt that I harvested from the sea. Yeah. And and cultivated it here at at my domicile. So it this I could not I couldn't give I could not even sell it. I, if you had five trillion in fiat, I couldn't give this to you for five nope. trillion in fiat. You know, this has, there it has to be substance for substance. Mhm. So um, when we for, when we just c- cancel all the debt and forgive all the debt, just let it go. Uh, everything, all of the paper that came with that debt has to go too. That's called jubilee. Islam. Islam nobility. A building would be even would be more better because it even more causes us to put our deserving in the system, and we set the system, and only a living person who can clear the debt, living creditors, yeah. who can clear the debt. So we are living creditors. So if we build in, we can clear the debt and reset the economy using our fiat. This back by go. So it's time to be starting everything as bartering from scratch. We actually take over the constitution and we and, and replace the laws, with all laws and everything, that so people can equally balance. What the system is doing right now is trying to escape the banner of arms. It's, it's using, not there. It's not by, there. By using, by using bitcoins and other cryptocurrency because of fiat they have me have no value anymore. There's enough countries like that. So rumors of war, propaganda, rumors of war and all kind of stuff. It's just a way of trying to fool the public and the people that they are broken and they and their and their banner are damaged. And the Queen Jubilee was up so long that these people are still trying to hold up as something called a stalemate. Islam. Islam. So, um, we will be doing banking, judicial banking, because that's how how we bank. We bank judicially. Uh, We will do judicial banking from, from now on. And really, as we're doing this judicial banking, we're going to run straight into some of our ancestral nations who who never went off of our banking system because they do exist. They are on the land. We it's just when you when you um um when we um, assented to use fiat back in the last era, there's an automatic something that happens systemically where it shuts off access to economies that use gold back money and currency. See, it's not that they don't exist on the earth. They do. Always have and always will. But we were disconnected from them when we decided to use fiat. And so I can even see that matrix. I could see from the time that we first uh, put on the public record the lien on the United States Corporation Company. I saw some of the curtain come back on the there's some there were some barriers between us and the gold backed economies like Iran and Iraq and Syria and others. Islam Sheikh. Okay. 
Um, Islam? So, again, the, these, four, these steps right here, now, this is why these, these uh, processes are so important. The processes are so important because that other system, with it gone out of the way, there has to be a lawful and legal process that can just that that is already system compatible because and it's not really even system compatible. It is the system um, because there has to be order. There has to be order. Okay, and uh, you know there's a saying out of chaos order. There's a Latin statement, and, and I'll, I'll just translate it into English, out of chaos order. And that's really what uh, Novus Ordo Seclorum means, but they, you know, they change it and say, you know, whatever they say about it. So they say do they say new world order. That's what they say about Novus Ordo Seclorum. But it really means out of order, chaos, or out of chaos order. So will a bail in affect those receiving monthly retirement funds, sovereign credits? So the answer to that is this, everything will freeze and then everyone who has something in there, you will, you will actually be able to print your own check out and deposit it as long as you can validate it. Anybody who, had, who sold domiciles or whatever, like if, if we sold a domicile, um, and then everything gets frozen. Wherever it's frozen, we as as long as we have proof of that, or or some type of receipt that it was it was frozen, and that's how much was there, then we can take that and authenticate it, and then document it, and then deposit it. Our bank is going to be doing that. Islam, wouldn't the bail-in also change, you know, the policies and procedures then also on how things were being, you know, received and transacted as far as, like you stated, we'd be able to take our, make our own check and then deposit it. So that means we would be verifying it and that means they wouldn't do anything. Um, well, they would always be us. So it would just be like you stated, the ledger to ledger, all of our banking, and so um, the protocol would be what we state as far as, um, you know, doing so, our banking. So here's the thing. We're not creating a fiat system, so we're not going to be creating money out of nothing. Those who have, and, and this, is, this is the key right here, we're the heirs, and so... When you talk about protocols changing, it's gonna it's changed anyway because we're at we're the head and not the tail anymore. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when we're the head and not the tail, and we have a trust, we can pull from that trust. See, mm -hmm. before there were others who were pulling from uh, enacting pulling from a trust and giving us the leftovers. Facts. Yeah. But now we can look at our trust and say, okay, we have whatever we have in there, 100 million, whatever we have in our trust. We can pull it out with a, with a written plan on what we're going to do with it because there has to be a plan. And the plan is nothing, nothing more than a business plan or, or a life plan. Or invoice or receipt. A business plan or a life. There has to be a plan for it because we are competent heirs. Mm-hmm. And the, with the business, and this is this is where that story of the prodigal son, who said, "I want all of my estate right now." They get you can't tell them no. You, 
They got, you know, you give it to them, but if they spend it all, what happens? You know. So a plan is a competent way to do that, and the way our ancestors set this system up is we have to have a plan in order to access our estate. We have to. They wanted us to come together like this and unify, and then and and this is a plan and a strategy that we put. We meet. We're we're affirming our our plan, and we're saying we're going to do this together. So, for me, um. I I, ha- I have to finish writing up a business plan, and, and it's already done, uh, a, a business plan for the sea salt and how we plan on growing it and getting it out there and doing things like that. I have to have a plan. Then I can access my trust. Mm. So, and, you know, I'll say this, I've already proven, and many of you have already proven by the businesses that you've done, even in the land of lack, you still started businesses and and got little things going. Uh, uh, Some were selling things out of the trunk of the car. Some were selling things out of the kitchen. You know, uh, the, the resourcefulness was there already, you know. Um. And then those who 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 don't do who who don't want to do business, yes, there is uh, and and who want to just work, they want to have a job, they want to work, then they can do they can work, they can do public works, they can do uh, anything any other government they want to do, they can be on the courts, they can be security, they can be whatever they want to do, because some people they just want to do a job and then go home and put their feet up, okay. There are others who want to engage, you know, courts-wise. Anything that you want to do, most likely you're already doing something Something that has to do with it. It's wrong. It's wrong. Mm-hmm. It's not like somebody just wakes up out of uh, uh, just laying around smoking weed all day, you know, and they up and now all of a sudden, mm-hmm. you know, business and everything everywhere. It's most likely you've had it in your heart to do some things. You've 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 tried to get some things working, but that last era wasn't letting nobody do it. Not not us, because this era is for us. It's wrong. It's right. You know. And but our ancestors said, Y'all ain't get nothing until y'all put a system in place. Mm. Right. <laughs> so we and 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 coming together like this, they're like, Okay, they're ready. Facts. They've been tested. We know they're not going to punk out at the sign of a policy enforcer. Come on. I'm just saying. Come on. Come on, Morris. I'm just saying. It is what it is. So Unlock, unlock them. Unlock them. Yeah. Unlock yeah. Yeah. Yes. Islam. Islam. The ancestors have tested. See, some didn't want to be tested in that area. Some were mad about that. But that's why it was done. That's why the test came. To see who's... who's are the heirs going to be okay <laughs> as they go about the estate? Or are they going to be scared? No, we're not scared. Hmm. No, and we're together. We're together. So that is how um, all of this goes. All of these processes and the votes and things that we've been doing have been noted far and wide. Far Islam. and wide. Islam. Sorry. Islam. Islam. There has been many testimonies in different territories. Uh, yes. Many uh, Oriental stores, Filipino stores, yeah. uh, friends of mine in California and elsewhere. And I said, mm-hmm. just ask them about DeLorean. 
And, and they said, you know what? You know about the DeLorean? Yeah. And my friend goes, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Tell me more about this DeLorean. They're hearing about this yeah. in, in our lands. Yeah. So this is true. So yeah. I show, I, I ask a lot of my friends in Chicago. I said, go and ask some of them. Yeah. They're all over the planet. They're here. They know more about DeLorean. They hear more about DeLorean than many of the Moors here. And you correct. It does. It's spreading. It's spreading. It's spreading. It's long. Yeah. It's long. Yeah. Yes, it is. They were not going to let us do something and leave them out. I mean, think about how any of the other stuff we ever did. Think about how any of that stuff moved around, like rap music, for example. They weren't going to let us have that by ourselves. They were like, we want some of that, too. We want some of what the Moors got. Of course. They're a part of us, and they know it. So, yeah. Islam? Islam. Hold on a second. Islam nobility. Yeah, so... Uh, Basi and her and his brother, we have a group. And Abbasi uh-huh. brought one of the, the sisters in, and she gave us some testimony. She's from Lowell, Massachusetts. And okay. she went into a Vietnamese store. Mm-hmm. And when she came to pay for her groceries, she signed with the Appalachian Bay. And mm-hmm. then the lady said, Bay, we take... We have, we take merchant card. Do you have merchant card? We take merchant card. <laughs> also, we take the item. Yeah. We bring it to me. We will take. We will. We will yeah. accept it. Yeah. And when she told us that, <laughs> that just made our day. Yeah. On that call, when we was doing that call. Yeah. So, there you go. Yeah, our brothers and sisters are our little town in Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. They were not going to let it's us on. do it and not, and not just put it out there for us. You know, they know who we are already. Islam nobility. Islam is this Tonus Bay, Khalifa territories. Um, I don't want to drop any names, but in Oakland, California, there is a Mexican restaurant that is accepting Dolarium. I'll give you more details about it later. And we're working on a department store, too. Beautiful. A major department store. Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, we have been hearing, thank you, no, uh, Noble Tonus, thank you so much. We've been hearing from many of the different territories where people are, e- either they're accepting Delarium, they're accepting merchant cards, they're accepting uh, the national uh, programs that we're putting out, the national program, everywhere. We, all we have to do is keep, and that's what, that's what we talked about, the strategy, the living record technique. Just keep doing it. Keep saying it. Keep putting it out there. Keep mentioning it. Keep talking about it. It's living record technique, I'm telling you. Do the study on broken record technique. But see, they already know, too, that it's this bail-in thing is about to happen because we said so. Islam, on that note, um, is that going to be a written um, document that's going to be put together for, you know, to put on the record, or are we just going to speak it into the record? Uh, we'll speak it into the record, and then we'll also, of course, we're, we're, we're going to put something together for the bail-in. But, you know, we, 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 we weren't going to put it together until we talked to the, to the Congress so, oh. about it. <laughs> oh, and then um, one more thing. Is this what you had mentioned previously about um, the the vernacular, the words, um, the change for the banking, you know, the um, like the beginning, all rise and stand? I think you would say that, that it was the, um, there were some words of change to, um, for the banking. Is this it? Uh, y- yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is it. Uh, and, and also just. Uh, we took it out of the thing that we say, the, the um, introduction to our congressional assemblies, where we, we put in uh, possession and custody. That was part of it, where we added that in at the beginning of our, of our um, congressional assembly. But, you know, those who are, uh, especially our Asian 
and quote unquote me, Olmec. I'll just say Olmec. I was going to say Mexican, but I'll just say Olmec, brothers and sisters. Um, the acceptance of Delarium is is real. I just, they I'm sorry. For us to accept our own money. And as you were stating that before that also, I just got the epiphany of like, wow, that means our treasury, our national treasury is global by the mere fact that Brother Dawood said it, the Vietnamese, the Chinese, you know, restaurant, and how all those people have a tendency to send people here to send back money to where they um, originated from. So the fact that they want our DeLorean on this soil here, that means they're going to send it back to their family there. So that means the treasury that we created has to be in operation there for them to put it into an account of some kind for them to have a value for it. Yeah. So that means everything that we have been doing is further evident that the treasury earthwide is yeah. active. Holy yeah. cow. Wow. All we had to do was yeah. keep keep oh. going, keep saying, keep doing, and keep pushing forward. And here's the thing. Um, just a minute. Justice Consu, were you going to say something? I'm just like overwhelmed with the, um, the results I'm hearing here, you know. So I'm just kind of like shouting aloud, you know, and um, today the um, DeLorean is um, doing what he's doing in the territories. Um, I'm going to go out tomorrow and go to some of the stores and just um, see what happens. Yeah, just have, a, just have, do the demonstration, have a word with them, and, and don't worry so much about the outcome of it. Just be relaxed, go in, do the demonstrations, and just listen to what they say. Listen to what they, because they're going to tell you one way or the other. Because, see, here's the thing. Our money cannot be denied. But they know we have to do the right processes to get our money to continue, and we've already done the right processes. We, the first process was we had to speak it. We had to agree. We had to come together and, and say we're the government. Yes, this is our money. This is our money. Absolutely. You know. So um, a year from now, it's going to be. You're, yeah. Islam. Islam, Empress. Uh, um, I I know I missed last week because I wasn't able to get into the class. I can use um at work and try to um log in late. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if I missed something, but I'm I'm hearing discussion about the merchant card. Now I know about the delirium. I'm working on getting mine processed, but mm -hmm. um, I don't know about the merchant card. How, how is that um, utilized? So our merchant cards are tied directly to our um, to our trust. Uh, just one moment. And really what we do with the merchant card is we, we, we set aside something, a separate trust for the use of it, or, or we use a bank account uh, for our merchant cards. Uh, let me pull up a merchant card so that you can and how see. How does one access that, please? Um, here. That's one moment. So here is uh, my merchant card. Um, just one moment. Let me put it on the screen so that you can see what it looks like. Um, So 
the the money that's on this merchant card right here and here I'll just put it on the screen because this is also part of governing the city as well. So this is my uh, my my merchant card. It's a prepaid merchant card with a hundred million dollars on it from my from my trust. But the money from this came from the lawsuit that our courts did against City of Federal Way. They are the debtor, we're the creditor uh, because of an un unlawful arrest, <laughs> a lawful, unlawful detainment. We stood, we did what we were supposed to do in terms of court actions and everything. Uh, the only thing that we did not do initially was say, all right, we didn't raise them from the dead, but still we stood on, on our square. And so um, this right here, it's, it'll, it says cause, C-A-U-S, uh, and then it has a number. That is the, this, this uh, alphanumeric number is the cause for action done by our courts, but it was originally uh, in its dead form, the case number. So we leaned the case number so that they couldn't make anything off of that case number. We leaned it and then we said, okay, we're going to, because of our fiduciary status uh, in taking over all letters, all numbers, everything, we're going to make that a cause for action number. So now we know that the system, our system, our ancient system recognizes that number. Because the thing that people may or may not have been aware of, Empress, is that all case numbers are actually bank account numbers or account numbers. They're account numbers and they move things back and forth. They move credits back and forth and debits cracking back and forth. So when we, again, think about this more, is when we do a bail-in and we say, okay, our bail-in is spelled differently from theirs, okay, on our documents. So on our, on our affidavit, it'll be spelled differently. Um, but when we do a bail-in, all we're saying is all debt is gone. Well, that means the national debt is gone and now the national credit is here. And when they say national debt, that belongs to them. We don't have any debt. You can't have debt when you have an untold number of resources in the vault that is the earth. If you go to the core of the earth, there's so much gold and silver and platinum and iron ore and copper and all of that there, and it's being created every day. So, you know, um, this is this is what our merchant cards look like. It, it's a gold card, um, and this is not city of Federal Way. This is Federal Way City. Okay, it's not city of Federal Way. It's Federal Way City. So mm -hmm. and and we're still uh, we're still perfecting some of the uh, things that we're doing. We're still and not perfecting because they're already perfected, but we're tailoring them to whatever we see fit to tailor them to. So yes. access to the card will be, again, as we continue to go forth and do the things that we're doing, uh, access to the card will be made available to everyone from our bank. And you, those who have uh, the machine to make the cards, you all already know how to make your cards. Okay, and then you'll be making them, you'll be the bank for others at your territory. That's how this works. Yes, Mom. Um, um, is Mom, I meant to say. So the incorporated, that would be referring to our du jour incorporation? Yep. Okay. Just we talked that. about that in the previous, thank you for asking that question, Empress. In the previous meeting, we talked about uh, about that and about public private and corporate, 
which is here on the screen, and, and, and national clarification of that. See, when you do away with all debt, uh, just one moment, when you do away with all debt, uh, most of the things that we do are actually going to be done in capitas diminutio minima, which is this way. Um, because that's where we are. We stay right there in the middle. Uh, but we had to possess this first, you know, which we always have. We just need to state it properly. And then we had to, of course, do away with uh, the dead stuff, all of that dead stuff. Uh, there's someone asking in the chat, uh, a couple of questions in chat. Uh, oh, man, I believe you see Lock Maritime Admiralty. Um, they were not on the land just to shake Klein L, Klein Bay. They were not on the land. They were actually lost at sea and, and enacting being on the land, but not really. Uh, so so the, in the last era, all we did was look in that funny mirror and see them acting like us, acting like they were on the land, acting like they were the law and all that when they really weren't. And, and, and once we stopped looking in the funny mirror, and start minding our national business, we will know that that, that, was, that was the past. That was then. It wasn't real. Uh, yes. ONA, uh, Islam nobility. In the Matrix movie, for those who saw the Matrix movie, meaning the first one, when Neil and Morpheus were fighting in the dojo, and Morpheus defeated him, and blood was coming out of Neil's nose, and he saw the blood, and he asked Morpheus, I thought you said the Matrix wasn't real. And Morpheus said, your mind makes it real. Your yes. mind makes it real, Islam. Yes. That was a big, gigantic hint of a movie. <laughs> big, gigantic hint of a movie that that stuff was not real. Um, Empress, you mentioned that you spell the word bail differently. What is the spelling that um, is being used? So on our on our um, -E -Y. Moorish documents, bail. It's a bail in because it's the bays and the L's doing it. And the owls and the Ali's and the days doing it. Um, and just just for the just so that you all and, and you all know this already, but just for the record, this one that one is a boogeyman one. That was a that was one where folks were trying to cast a spell and scare people away from bays and hills. So they wanted to make that into some big scary thing that's nothing. Uh, but as you know, they misspell everything. So uh, Justice Malik, yes and yes. Uh, he said, are we going to be creating corporations or co-operations? Yes, to both of those. When we use a word, any word, it means what we intend for it to mean, and that's why we did what we did with the fiduciary document. We said no matter what the word is, no matter how it's spelled, we control the letters and the intention of the letters. Now, on our affidavit, Justice Malik, we'll spell it co-operations, like with, with C-O plus operations. That's how we would spell it on our, on our affidavit, on Moorish government letterhead. But then we also, when we create that affidavit, we also create a corporate affidavit that is spelled in common English. So... A corporate affidavit for us would be one where we have, let's say, 
uh, Federal Way uh, letterhead that we have properly restated, and you all have seen that. It doesn't say City of Federal Way. It just says Federal Way. And so, you know, our corporate documents are like that. Just like the uh, the document that we showed a little while ago, the um, tax levy, this one. Uh, tax, uh, these documents use common English. Any of our, this is considered a corporate document for us. It's in capitalist diminutio minima, right here, and uh, you know, it uses corporate, corporate or common English rather, so that no matter who you are on this land, you'll understand this or or understand or understand this this language here. But then on the levy, this same levy that has a matching affidavit. On the affidavit, levy is spelled differently. Some of the other words are spelled differently. You know, they're spelled in ancient English, the way we spell. Um, and then it says here, all, uh, open the call, more needs to get in. Okay. Um, thank you for that. <clears throat> Uh, you said that animals have DNA. You said something about O and A. What is it? Uh, with regard to, oh, and Justice Howard, uh, we're ready for your poem too. Um, that thing about DNA and O and A, DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. The D, D-I, means two. Okay. We don't have, we're not made of two anything. We're made of one. We are one, one cellular system, not two coming from two different places. We're made of one. That's from ancient times. And all others are derivatives thereof of that one. Um, deoxyribonucleic acid, me, it, it, that means made of two acidic nuclei, oxygen nuclei. We only have one. Uh, and um, proper notice, no, uh, lean on staples. Hey, Pauline, did you know that they sold your Range Rover at the, at the Tacoma of Washington? You can do whatever you they want sold your Range Rover. Justice, Justice uh, You can do whatever you want to do with regard to that. However you choose to do it, you can do it by email if you don't have anything else. But I will say this, Justice Azadula, our priority has to be our nation. So before we spend credits on anything else, our national business must come first. That's first, fruit, first fruits. Okay. Um, and so... Back to oxyribonucleic acid. That's just that's of one cell. Um, but what I was going to say is that I bet nobody has a merchant have, card machine um, besides Pauline. Yeah. Uh, this is the Tonus Bay. I have a merchant card machine. <laughs> just as soon as we we don't even have to, I don't I don't even entertain that stuff because there's there's it's just so ignorant and unknowing, just so ignorant and unknowing. And the thing is, all, they know what's going on. They're just trying to plant seeds of doubt in the Moors that are here that hear this. They know that system is done. Not once have we heard them say anything about, oh, the banks are failing. Not once have they said that. Debtor banks are failing. Debtor banks are failing. Not us. 
So we know that they're here. They they only come to to plant seeds of doubt and and say, well, well, well. He kind of got a point. Why won't light answer that? Because it's stupid. They know that thing that fell all the way down, but they want to question what we're doing. No, 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 no. That's right. They don't have the authority to question us. Period. None. None. So I just keep going. I just keep going. Cause that's just crazy. When are they? You know, since when did they even give a flying rat's behind about us anyway? Come on. That's right. I didn't see them breaking their neck to get to a civil rights meeting and interrupted and say, "Hey, don't y'all know y'all got a nationality?" Mm-hmm. Never once. In fact, they was holding hands like, "Yay, we're here together." Kumbaya, mm-hmm. my lord. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, not once did they kick. They didn't care. Islam, Islam Empress. Uh, uh, they show up when we don't show up because um, I had missed a couple of meetings before the holiday break. And, um, you know, I came on, ju- you know, waiting and it was just myself and them. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're wow. here when we're not here. They show up religiously. Yes. That's great. Islam. Islam, Empress. My question is, Empress Aisha, uh, Michigan Republic, say you have a um, retirement IRA or whatever, savings account, whatever it may be, Mm-hmm. When you do the bail in, when the bail in is done, do you lose what you have? It's going to sit there and be reflected, but it, no one will be able to use any of that stuff because we weren't supposed to be using it in the first place. So all you do is this is what you do, Empress. It's what we've been saying all along. Take the proof that you have of it and restate okay. it. Keep the okay. proof and put the restatement of it together. Okay. And then you'll be able to take that to your bank, our bank, and mm-hmm. deposit it. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Islam. So no, no one will lose anything who has properly declared their nationality. Now, what is that going to do for the people who have not declared their nationality? It's going to wake them up. But okay. there won't be chaos. There's not going to be chaos. Because before the actual bail-in happens, by the time the bail-in happens, I, I don't even think we're going to notice it. Okay. Because we're going to be demonstrating who we are along the way. That's why demonstration is so important now. So, so we'll have to do those recordings in both uh, red, blue, and monochrome. Uh, n- no, you, you'll just do it in blue. See, once you do those 40 some documents on the public record in red, you don't have to do anything else in red if you don't want to do anything else in red. You can do it in blue by affidavit and then a corporate document. Okay. Okay. Uh, and here, let me just show you really quickly. Uh, a corporate document, what they look like. And we've seen these many times. I've shown them many times. Uh, I love them. Um, Let's see. Uh, Corporate document. A corporate document would be something like... uh, Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's do maybe this one. Uh, um, that's no, that's the 1099. Uh, and we could we could take a look at that too, by the way. But we'll do that after we look at the corporate document. Um, the corporate document. This is one right here. Um, Bank. Um, 
<laughs> this is a corporate document. A corporate document for us is one where, you know, where we put the corporate logo here uh, and then we change it, like, for example, with this one. Uh, let's see. Let's put a little bit of red in there. Uh, this We know it's a corporate document already because it has our seals and stamps on it. But then what mm -hmm. we do is um, when we have corporate documents, Let's say, for example, we would put encircle that in red. And that's how you know it's our logo and not theirs. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we have our seal. So this makes it the federal deposit, the national federal deposit insurance corporation. This is the mm. national, not the other one, not the fake one. This is the real one. Okay. This is the one that's solvent. Okay. And then we put our seals here, uh, and we did the same with, you know, this is the this is the ancient treasury seal for North America, this one. This is the tre mm -hmm. ancient treasury seal for the District 4 Columbia. And then this is um, the Federal Deposit Insurance, uh, the ancient seal for them, uh, actually since 1933, because we were still governing in 1933 as well, despite mm -hmm. what people think. And then this says here, this letter does serve as affirmation and notification that I, Chief Justice Pauline Denise Ritchie, and again, you all put your appellations in here because you're Chief Justice too, do accept the appointment and titles for chairman, attorney, in fact, and fiduciary trustee officer for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation for the United States in accordance with the United States, the Treasury, the Constitution for the United States, 1789 and 1791, the bankruptcy law for 1933, the emergency banking law. So again, when we do... Uh, this is this, this has a matching affidavit that goes with it that says okay. the same thing, except it says it in ancient English, which is our national language. If you want to put yours in Latin or or Arabic or whatever, you can do that. And just for the record, just so that everyone is clear about the languages, the the Moors who wrote law did so in Latin. The Moors who wrote medical books did, or uh, yeah, medical books and yeah, medical books and certain treaties did so in Arabic. The Moors who who because uh, there were seven the seven mountains of government. Though the different Moors wrote in whatever language they their their discipline requires it to be wrote in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, we spoke all the languages, Latin, Arabic, ancient English, uh, Moorish Latin, which they call Spanish, um, Hebrew, Chinese, African, Swahili. Whatever the Moors were doing, they spoke whatever language they chose to speak. So there was not, we didn't stick to just one language. We've not ever stuck to just one anything. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, this is considered a corporate document by us. Okay. And sometimes I sign them in blue or autograph them in blue, and sometimes I autograph them in red. It just depends. And then all, these corporate documents always have an affidavit to go with them. So... With that being stated, and the affidavit will be done in blue. With, so with, the, it, with the court action language in red. Now, court action language is always in red at the top of the paper. Okay, now, if we, is there one specific place so that, you know, you don't be sitting at the computer all day rambling for a document? Is there any one specific place you can go and find the doc, all of them? No one's going to spoon feed the documents to you. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why we do it the way we do it is okay. 
we're we're doing things, and I'm not saying you want to be spoon fed, Empress. I'm not saying that. What I am saying though is, uh, for example, I don't I don't have a document for your retirement pro process. I right, don't have right. a. So then what you would do is, for example, if your retirement is through, and I'll just use this as an example, if you retire from, uh, USAA retirement program, then you would create a corporate document that says, I have, uh, uh, as the CEO for USAA, and you would put the national USAA logo at the top. Um, here's the national logo for USAA. This is how mm -hmm. you get a national logo, Morse. All Morse, watch how we do, how we obtain a national logo. This is how you do it. You take the logo and see it has a little trademark thing there. Mm -hmm. So what you do is that's their corporate trademark. So we take and and we would do something like add some red to it somewhere along the way to make it a national logo. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can get you get you all to see this. Uh, how to create a national logo. Just a moment, let me get over to um, Let me know when you can see the USAA. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Okay, you can see it. Okay, good. Here, let me widen this out and make it a little bigger so you can see it. So, so the way that we create a national logo is we would, let's say, for example, um, put give this eagle because this is an eagle. A red eye and then um, what else do we do uh, and then if you want to let's say um, trace this pyramid in red <laughs> we would do that Because, see, when they initially did these things, they started all of this out. Uh, from looking at what we did. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so then when you, uh, now I'm going to make it a little smaller. And, in fact, what I will do also is make this red, too. I'm creating a national logo for mm -hmm. USAA, the national USAA. Because uh, when you read into trademark law, when people are doing things with trademarks and uh, they say, okay, it has to look exactly like that or else the trademark is, is not valid, right? Mm -hmm. Well, for us, we purposefully make it so that it doesn't look like that. And again, we're not afraid, but we want this want it to be known that this is coming from the national office and not the corporate, you know, okay. previ the previous corporate office. So we would do it like that and then take and put it here is my national logo 
And then I would take that logo and put it at the top of the documentation. Put it at the top of the document. And then say, uh, from the office for the CEO at the top of the document. Mm -hmm. Or you can just say office, CEO office. Okay. So that is how all of this works. That that is how we do what we do. And then uh here. And I would put national CEO office. Mhm. Mm so when you do it this way, you've nationalized USAA. But you, you have to do these, you have these steps, the 14 steps that we talked about earlier. Those steps need okay. to be, you know, yeah, done on the public record. Yes. Do those first because you, you have to lean that other thing because that other thing was not cute. It was, it was not good. I did it in red, so now I, I need to do it in blue. What, uh, I did my blue? name, it, it, the lean on my name in red. Uh-huh. Now uh, do I, I need would, I would, Yeah, I would do it in blue uh, okay. to go with the fiduciary document. I would okay. do it in blue. Okay. And when you do it in blue, do it in capitis diminutio minima, which means the first letter capitalized and the rest of the letters lowercase. Okay. Because, see, this is how you want that to look. Uh Like that. Okay. Let's see. Gotcha. Okay. And that's how liens are done because, you know, on liens, you want to get rid of that DBA uh, from frauds. And then, and this would have been in black. On a lien, it would look like this. Just a moment. It would be in brackets and in black. Because that's a that's a dead those are two dead entities. The mm -hmm. living Pauline Denise Ritchie is not in brackets. Okay. And 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 I control her. Gotcha. Okay. Islam, are there any other questions or comments about these fourteen things right here? Yes, Islam. Islam nobility. Yes, Islam uh, Empress. Uh, I do not have Delorium, and mm -hmm. I still have to pay a. Well, I don't know if that's the right language, but pay a debt in my domicile with FRNs. How do I make that transfer? These steps right here. These steps right here, first, before you stop using fiat, you want to do these steps, okay? Because you have to make it so that the debt, uh, you're essentially, and, and I, I'll say a bail-in, it's a bail-in for your, for your all caps. So you want to do these steps first, which is, of course, declare your nationality. That's always first. Okay. Termination of corporate contracts, trust proclamation, because the, the property has to go into a trust, okay? okay. Uh, not, uh, a, a lien on the nom de guerre and the social, a lien on the uh, U.S. corporation company and all agents, principals, heirs, assigned to any derivatives thereof. And then do a fiduciary affidavit and a corporate affidavit for whoever it is that's claiming to be whoever it is on that debt. So like if it's ABC Mortgage Company, then you want to fire the CE the one acting as CEO cuz they're not they're not real CEOs. They uh when you lean them, okay, cuz you got to lean them. 
when you lean them, they're fired anyway because they're debtors. And then um, you, you, you as fiduciary, trustee, and CEO uh, pronounce that and notify them that this is what has happened and that you are the national uh, uh, chief executive officer. We, use, we don't use, uh, uh, and I, I did use a, uh, an acronym earlier, but we don't use them. We, we um, here, let me make sure that I fix that. Uh, we don't use them. Like, I don't use the term CEO. I, I just spell it out, chief executive officer. Uh, and then the Bureau for Fiscal, so, see, people think that we're not paying bills, and that's not the, that's not the truth. Uh, we got to know what a bill is. We got to know what tender payment is. So with this process right here, there is an actual payment that goes that is released and 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 goes on a public record. It's right here. Internal Revenue Ministry authorizes the Bureau for Fiscal Service to issue the check or tender the payment instrument. Okay, uh, and then a 1099 to those. Uh, pretending to be the, the, the mortgage company, a 1099 acquisition, and OID. Um, and then you want to levy both the domicile, if it's a domicile, both the domicile, and you want to levy whoever it is that was claiming it, claiming to be the CEO of said, quote, unquote, mortgage company. Okay. So remember that large stack of papers that you signed when you were getting a domicile? Correct. That's the rebuttal. Okay. All of that. Let, me, let me just, so I'm clear, because I mentioned it before. Mm -hmm. I'm in a Section 8 apartment. Mm -hmm. And through my Veterans uh, mm -hmm. Association. So mm -hmm. how do I co-op all that? The same manner? The same thing. Okay. Okay. Same thing. And then yours, and there's been other mores too who are in things like city co-ops and things like that. You want to address that specifically because in reality, you're the VA, you're the city, and you're also the owner of the building. So we have to let everyone know who we are so that when they start moving folks out and doing all types of stuff, uh, if there's a bail-in or a bail, you know, whatever, whatever happens, right. okay, and it's going to be a bail-in, right. um, that we are set in place, that we are sheltered in place. Okay, Islam. Yeah, Islam. Gratitude. Islam, and I'm having to do the same thing. I'm having to do the same thing because we're veterans, both me and my consort. Okay. So we're demonstrating the same things that everyone else is demonstrating. We don't get a we don't get a, a break or a cut. We got to do it too. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Okay, Islam. Gratitude and praise. Thank you, and thank you for your question, Nobility. Uh, a map and charter affidavit. This domicile is at Federal Way. It is not at City of Federal Way. So that's why the map and the charter, the city charter, are so important. Because you want to say where it really is. Oops. City charter. Or, or you can do county charter, actually, is better. County charter. OK. And then with regard to all of the demonstrations, uh, let's see, one last question. What about those who nationalize banks via sovereign documents plus deposited DeLarium in sovereign account months ago? That's still going to be good. You're going to be sheltered right in place. You're not, that's not going anywhere. You'll be able to use whatever you need to use. Uh, Justice Morpheus, that's a great question. So. Those who have done what we've done, which is remove the corporate covering off of the bank account and things like that, even if there's a bail in, we, we're still gonna be we're still gonna be good because we will have restated everything already and we're the fiduciaries releasing the checks. 
So even if they, let's say, for example, if a bail-in ha happens, when the bail-in happens, because it's going to happen, uh, when it happens, This is the part that I'm still looking at in terms of the way the system works. Either ours is going to freeze and then we restate that there was that amount in there and then we deposit that amount in our bank or nothing happens with ours and we just keep using whatever we're using because we have removed the corporate covering off of it. We lean the debtors. We've um, activated everything that needs to be activated, which is what we're showing here on the screen. And then we just keep moving, keep moving. And, and here's the thing, even if it's VA or whatever it is, we can create a, a, a national corporation document that says this is what was in there, this stays as is. The national banks and the National Veterans Administration is us. National everything. Any company that you can think of, Apple has a national Apple. We're it. We're, 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 we are they. Nike has a national arm. That's us. So as you always say, just state it. Just state it. And what? that's the difference, uh, Nobility. I'm so glad you said that. Right when you said that, because somebody put something in the chat that says our own vine and fig tree won't happen as long as we use their system. They don't have a system. Theirs is done. And that's what restatement means. That means stated in our state, created in our state. The only thing, listen, they never, they don't own one brick. They don't own one computer. They don't own none of that stuff. Every brick that was used to put a bank up came from our vast estate. Not, they don't have one. They're debtors. Slaves don't own bricks. Slaves don't own, servants don't own things. So it's not their system. But we had to come out of that thing, their paper nest, because that's the, that was the only place they existed. We had to use our own paper and restate everything, and that's what we've done, and that's what we continue to do. Okay, that is our vine and fig tree. Our state is our vine and fig tree. So again. When they came from over there, they didn't have a system on their back and in their luggage. They didn't have a system in there when they came over here. Everything was already here. And here's the, here's the crazy part about that. If they had come over here with a system on their back, that means they stole it from our land over there. That's right. That's right. Come on now. They don't have a system. We just need to be competent, peaceful with each other, loving one another, and, and activating and doing it together. Yes, Lord. Yes. Our ancestors require that of us. When they say God is love, that's real. We have to be what we expect from everybody else on our land. We expect peace. We expect prosperity. So, yeah, they don't have a system. Never did. Never did. And that's another thing that makes any anyone who's not us debtors is that, is that they came with a debt on their, on their back. And we said, okay, that's what a bail-in is. We're saying, you know what, you all have served, okay. You don't have to pay the debt. We, forg we forgive your debt. Because, see, they've been praying for us to forgive their debts for a long time. Psalm 23rd chapter is proof of that. Yep. Yep. They said, forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
Okay. Islam, Islam. So, you know, uh, people, you know, I, I guess that some are still looking in that funny mirror and, and thinking that they have a system. They don't have a system. They don't have one. Your mind makes it real. Come on and say that again. Your mind makes it real. One more time because it's a spell. I say it. Your, Your mind, mind makes it real. Yes, it's it does. It's not real. It it's never not real. It's never real. Was. They're actors. They're pretenders. You're the real deal. It's Your real. mind makes it real. It's Come not. on. And it. guess what? Okay. Your mind can make it fake. Right. Facts. We, that's, that's called reversion of a state. All right, now. That's what it is. When your mind is turned back to your foremothers and forefathers and you know that you, you are the heirs to all, there's nothing that you're not the heirs to. Islam. Except that. And we can tell the debt what to do. Islam Empress. Yes, and sadly, um, a lot of our people still are trying to pay what they, you know, their so-called taxes. You know, I think a lot of people, they're like gearing themselves up for the April 15th. You know, or so with the paying of the taxes piece, everything is in transition. But even the, even the, the subjects have been saying, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. The subjects have been saying, okay, those who were previously in the office of IRS are saying don't pay taxes yet. Has anyone else heard that? Heard them say don't pay them yet? Islam, we have. I've, I've heard it, but I also saw it also come out again where now they have opened it up for people to start paying the taxes. Okay. So, quote, unquote, they working on me too. <laughs> Okay, Empress, because they know that they don't have the authority to say anything like that. But but we have to use the right processes in order to get past that. You can send them DeLarium for taxes if you want to pay them, if you want them, you know, or you can just use your documentation. There's a million and one ways to do it. I know. Okay. Okay. They cannot require... And who is they in the first place? Let's just stop with nationality, jurisdiction. Who is it that's saying that? And who are they talking to? Okay. The corporation. Uh, um, Islam, um, um, shouldn't we send in our documentation that states that we're tax exempt with the AA222141? It's not really tax exempt. It is called not taxed at all. You know, I had thought about you in that too in an affidavit. Yeah, it's not taxed. Tax exempt means that you're exempt until they say you're not. Okay. We're non obligated. But the double A triple two one four one covers it all. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Now, when we, as we move into our system, we're still going to be looking at a system. It's still a system. We still have to address things. Mm -hmm. And we're actually there already. The system is already ours. All we have to do is use the right processes to access everything. The ancestors actually gave me that message for surety, and I could, I could point to how, but some, some may get in, some won't. Um, the system is already changed. It's ours. It is what it is. All we have to do is, is speak to it with our affidavits and our, our documents. And... Don't go to the front line people. Don't go to the front line people. Go straight to the top of their of, of that subject's paradigm. And the top of the subject's paradigm is the only place we speak. So before you go into any bank, you speak to the top. You you send your documentation in to the top. 
Okay. We've restated the Zodiac Constitution because there were some things in the Zodiac Constitution that needed to be restated. So, in our sovereign status, in all lowercase letters, we don't have to participate in anything, Justice Morpheus. We can just be. It's when we assent to um, commerce or something like that that we see in our sovereign status in in all lowercase letters we could go out onto the land and get whatever we want to get to feed ourselves to take care of ourselves to shelter ourselves whatever we can do that and you wouldn't need any fiat you wouldn't need anything you can go out there and do whatever you choose to do there are some who say, okay, well, I would rather have the conveniences of a domicile and a grocery store and this and this and this and that. And then I want to do my commerce, you know, my Moorish commerce. Okay. So then you assent it to use at least one capital letter, at least one, which would be the first letter. So mm -hmm. then... In that case, you have to use that system because it's a system. And then if you want to go even further and do all types of stuff, uh, and it's not really, you don't get to do more uh, when you use all caps. It's just there. there's another system there. That's the services system. And we must, we're, we're providing our own services. That has to be known before anyone chooses to use all capital letters, you know, even with what we're doing. Know that there's rules. The all caps goes by civil rules. The all caps has civil rights. But at any time when we're using the all caps, we can invoke our sovereign status and say, that's not a dead corpse, that's a living corporate cooperation or corporation. Hmm. You know, so our status and our nationality, that is why there is a, you know, the, I could hear just a little bit of subversion where people are trying, they are darned as to get us to not do that, not declare nationality, but that makes all the difference in the world. Everything seems like it looks the same. And some people say, oh, you don't need to declare your nationality to do this, 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 and this. That's what you think. Yes, you actually do. Because when you're talking about international law, that means dealing with anybody that's outside of your nation. And that's why we say nation, you know, and then we have tribes within our nation, but nation must be stated. Because now you're talking about inter, and even with the state, you're talking interstate commerce and international commerce or international law. And then you, you know, no, we, we can't just be Harry Carey. Our ancestors wanted us to know these systems. Know the systems and not just know them, dominate them. Not dominate, have dominion over them. All right. That way. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Dominate sounds like force, and we don't have to use force for anything. We are force. Just so, like the yeah. word power, huh? <laughs> yeah, we don't have to we don't have to push. We just have to be. Mm -hmm. That's right. Justice Howard, your poem. Yes, yes. Let's let let us adjourn with the poem. Yes, it's like I, I am honored. I am honored to share this poem because this poem is from the ancestors. Islam. This poem <laughs> this poem is not for the Moors because you already have multiple floors and stores. This poem is for the Moors because you do have multiple floors and stores with shiny, shiny Moors. 
This poem is called Unlock Them. Ye are wicked warlocks, those who interfere with our calls up. Ye are war wicked warlocks. We are peace locks. We come to unlock the flock. You cannot stop. We come to protect and feed the flock, not to make them stock. <laughs> Listen up. Listen up. For all of you interfere with our calls up, ye shall fall. All. For all of you who interfere with our calls up, ye shall fall. All of you. We shall show you, sew your mouths up like a spider spinning a web from within, from within, to shut your mouths up. Implode your house up. For all of you interfere with our calls up, a web will be spinning, spinning from within from within, sewing your mouths up. Ye will no longer attend. This spell has been cast. Fast, fast. Remove yourselves and your ass. Islam. 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 There it is. There it is. Wow. Islam. Islam, I affirm. Islam. <laughs> Islam. Islam, indeed. Islam. Grand, Grand yes, applause, indeed. my brother. Indeed. 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 Listen to them holler monkeys go. Uh, one moment. Listen, 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 listen to the holler monkeys. Listen to the holler monkeys. It's funny. That's funny. Okay. That, that, that. That's that, that uh, 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 anyway, I won't go there. I try not to go to those places, so I'm not gonna go because I don't want to go. You, give it time, hey. give it time, it wouldn't man. happen. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's gonna sew their mouths up. You know, <laughs> they're already just so, just so off the, just way out there, off the mark, all the way off. You know, they won't say nothing about that ugly system that failed that they that they was loving so much back then. They won't say nothing about it. Nope, they're done. done. They're, they're done. Finished. So goodbye. You shall yeah. not call no more. You will not interfere with these calls up. Yeah. This spell Islam. is cast specifically to you all. Islam. Leave us alone. That's what you're gonna do real soon. Yeah. Islam. The closer we get to uh, more of the same, because we're already here, we're already unified, and more, if I may, uh, uh, please, we're already unified. It's done already. There are even some more who say, ain't no unity in the Morris Nation. Uh-uh, we right here. We unified. Look at us. Facts. We agree. We we're That's together. Right. That's right. We speak that spell over our nation. That's right. We are one. Period. So you know, it starts and stops with us. That's it. Period. It don't even matter what anybody else says. It nope. starts and stops with us. Facts. Everything does. Real facts. Yeah. The very, the very people they abuse, you got to come right back to us. Full circle. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this. I don't feel abused by them at all because they can't even they can't even address the throne. Mm. I'm just mm. saying, and and we all Facts. sitting on standing at the throne at, on our own throne. Yes. You know. Yes. I, I yes. hesitate to say sitting on the throne because we don't sit down for nobody. Mm -hmm. That's mm. the entertainment. Gone well, the gone oh. more, yes. Islam. You're, beautiful, you're beautiful people. Beautiful, beautiful people on the planet. I've been in many nations. You're the most beautiful people, the most enduring people, the most patient people. Islam. You're the most wonderful Islam. people. You're the most gifted people. Whatever we do, we touch. We touch. It turns yes. to gold. Always yes. been there. Yes. Yes. Amen. Truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Yes, yes, yes. yes. it does. Yes, it does. And you know what? While 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 we bliss in our nation and bliss in each other, let me throw a little bit in there too. May your day be prosperous. May everything that your hand touch turns to gold. 
May your, may, may your way be easy. May, may all that you do grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. May your bloodline last forever. It's long. It's long. Yeah. <laughs> and so it is. <laughs> With that being stated, peace and grand rising to the sovereign, original, indigenous, natural, divine air is long. It's long. Peace and grand rising. Grand rising. Grand rising. Concorda sumas. Concorda sumas. Indeed. Islam, indeed. Peace and grand rising, boys. Islam. Islam, peace and grand rising. Islam. Pax at the Moors. Pax at the Moors to all the Moors. Islam. We will adjourn in five, four, three, two, one, and we'll be back on Thursday at 7 p.m.